Welcome to Night's Arcade. I'm Sleepless Night. We're back in Teardown again, but today we're doing something a little bit different because this, in the campaign at least, this is our second visit to Hollow Rock Island. Uh, but there is a vault on Hollow Rock Island and I today, rather than doing just another Let's Play episode, I'm going to show you how to get into that vault because you can find the door to this vault inside here. But the vault is the vault door is impenetrable. There, it doesn't matter what you do, you cannot break into the vault through the vault door. But if you remember your first visit to Hollow Rock Island, so it, you know if you want to do this on your first visit to Hollow Rock Island, you can do that. You really all you really need is quite a few planks. But on your first visit to Hollow Rock Island, you start here, like you pull your boat it actually arrives here, and this is where you get off, right? So if it's your first visit, you just go over to the left. Down here, past that door, over here, and down this. Okay, but on the, your second visit, you get off your boat. And you go down this, and just a little way down here, there's a grate above your head. Look, a vent. Open that with a sledgehammer. I find it convenient, I've tested this a couple of times, and I find it convenient to just get rid of this grate because what you're going to do is place planks and those of you who watch the rest of my videos will know that I hate planks they're temperamental little bastards and I can't be doing with them I hope this goes right because I've tried this a couple of times just to show you how to do it and the first couple of times it didn't matter like it went a bit um let's just say it went a bit skiwiff I don't know if you're familiar with that word but um if you're not, you know, become familiar with that word. So you're going to want quite a few planks. I don't know. I think you start off with how many planks you start off with? Is it eight or 16? I can't remember. But, you know, whatever it is, it should be sufficient, really, I think. Um, no, oh, I might have started that off wrong to, already, look, because this can get a bit iffy. Okay, see if we can get onto that plank. Right. That's it. So once you're in the vent, it gets a little bit easier. So all you've got to do now is just keep putting planks across, raise them a little bit, so make them like little ramps. And what we're doing is we're going up there, look. Can you see the opening just where the light's coming through? That's the vault. So that's where we're going. So just keep placing these planks, place them a little higher each time. Make make a little bit of a rank, ramp if you like. It's making you a little bit, you know, it'll save you a little bit of time if you incline it a bit. But don't incline it too much because I've found that you get stuck. And actually on one occasion, I glitched through here and out into the world beyond the nether regions of game development. The underparts that you never normally get to see. Oops, there you go. I just planked, planked, planked another plank, placed another plank, plank, oh my god. I should probably just not really talk much. Let's, you know, let's do the placing of the planks in the way that you place the planks. The, so, so you go. We're getting quite close. So just keep doing this. Make them a little bit. I don't know how many planks I will have used. I think I've got 32. So you can work this out for yourself. You probably don't want to come here if you've only got eight planks. I don't think you'll find that's enough. But you, you probably can do this with 16. That's not really a problem. So you, you, you probably can do this with 16 planks. I think I've got 32 in total. So, you know, it, it's doable with 16, I think. So if I've got 32, I've used 10 there. So you might be able to be more efficient. Maybe you can do it with eight. If you're really efficient with your planks, I'm not. Because, as I said, if you watch my videos regularly, I absolutely hate them. I hate planks. Bloody hate them. Right, and then you want to go through this grate, just cut away at it with your blowtorch. Hopefully a little bit more cleanly than I've just done. And you're into the vault. Okay, and here is a stack of gold bullion worth two and a half thousand dollars. So we're going to take that. And then over here is a bag of cash worth 400. So 
all told, you can clear this vault of just shy, uh, or just shy of three thousand dollars. You can get out of here, which will go a long way to upgrading your tools and things. Now, as I said, this vault door is absolutely impenetrable. Take my word for it. There is nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing you can do to get through it. Okay. Let's go over here. Right. So that opens up this grill. That's the way you would normally come into the vault that way, right? But this doesn't make any difference. Look. You cannot penetrate this thing. You can't cut through it with a blowtorch. There is nothing you can do. Blowtorch. Blowtorch won't even touch it, nor the vault door. There's just nothing you can do. You cannot get through this in a regular fashion. You can't break through it in any way. No way that you blowtorch. Because that's solid rock behind here. There you go. And another security grill, which you can't burn through. So it doesn't matter which other way you approach it, you can't get in. Trust me. It's... Right? So, you need to get back out the way you came in. The fastest way to do that is with a blowtorch. Because you can just wee plummet all the way to the bottom. But of course, you'll set off the fire alarm if you're not careful. So just... The fire, actually, this fire should pretty much go out on its own. But, um, you know, help it along with the extinguisher. And then, you know, get on with your job. So you'll have come here and cleared two and a half thousand... Uh, t no, just shy of three thousand dollars um, of profit. Because, you know, as I've said many times, you watch me make these videos before... It's all very well and good trying to get all these optional extras, right? Trying to get all these optional. So, look, we'll get the secondary targets as well. But you don't... You get a bit of, like... But you don't really... All you do is progress through your ranks a little bit faster. You don't actually get any money for doing them. All the money you get is the money you can pick up. And usually that's odds and bits and pieces that you find around the place. You know, a stack of... A stack of rare comic books or... Uh, a, a set of tools or a painting or something like that that you can pull off the wall and keep for yourself. And these are usually worth, you know... Anywhere between, I don't know, like $75 and, you know, I mean, you can pick up stuff for like $30, but anywhere between sort of $75 and like three, dollars $400, the stuff that you can just pick up as you go around these places. But nothing like what you can get out of that vault. So there you go. That is how you get in. That's how it's done. So now that we're back here at the old homestead, you can see when I left here, I had $26. So um, I found another thing that was worth $40, which is why it says 2966 instead of, you know, 2926. But uh, what we pulled out of the vault was $2,900. And all I did was abort the mission and come home and you get to keep, obviously, whatever it is that you found so far. So that's all there is to it, really. That's it. I do do a regular um, Let's Play series of Teardown. At the time of making this video, I think I'm up to number 17. I don't generally, for those of you who are thinking about checking it out, I don't generally plan ahead. So I'm not one of those people who plans ahead often uh, because I like people to... I, I Basically, I make most of my videos for fun in the hope that it'll make you laugh a bit. So I prefer to sort of not plan too much and just let you see my process of finding out how to do these things. But if you're not interested in any of that sort of stuff and you just came here to find out how to get into the vault, that's fine too. Uh, but if you like the video and you found it helpful, I'd appreciate a like. If you don't mind, uh, leave a comment as well if you want, if you, there's something you've got to say. Uh, I love those comments, except the ones that say, you know, crawl up your own ass and die. I could probably live without those, but, you know, whatever's your pleasure. If that's the kind of person you are, go right ahead. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, or you can join the Knights Arcade Discord community and have a chat with them. All these things are linked in the video description or on the Knights Arcade channel header. But until next time, from Knights Arcade, this is Sleepless Night, saying nighty-night. -night.